Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, this is section two for using Wireshark and NetWitness Investigator to analyze wireless traffic. Uh, it's probably going to be a little bit shorter, but section two looks like it's getting a little bit more, a little bit more in depth of uh, what you can do. Um, I kind of started uh, a little bit for you, so. Basically, the only thing it asked me to do was uh, starting a, a brand new machine, uh, open it up, and then open up Wireshark, and now I have a Hotspot Capture open right now. So that's where we're moving from. In the frame summary page, select frame seven. Here's frame seven. Uh, Wireshark window adjust to the top border of the frame to show only frames seven through nine. Okay. And we want seven through nine. Seven, eight, nine. Okay. Seven, eight, nine. The frame details review the protocol list to identify the different protocols used. Okay. PPP, LTPP, okay, make a screen capture showing all protocols using frame 7, okay, all protocols used in frame 7, This is it. PPP LCP. Okay. In the frame details, expand Ethernet two line. Boom. In the frame detail, expand expand the destination line identify the mac address and connection type uh, so mac address ppoe okay this is the mac address this is the connection type And the source line. Identify the MAC address and the connection type. Okay. We already found that. In the frame details pane, expand the user data datagram protocol line. Uh, in the summary, in the frame summary, select frame 18 and locate the source port number using the data. 18. What the heck are they doing here? Okay. Um, oh, okay. So I guess they just wanted me to get to that section and then go to frame 18. So it'll already be on that section. All right. In the frame 
summary pane, select frame 18, which I did, and locate the source port number. Source port number, there you go. Used in the data guide, make a screen capture of the source port number. All right, expand the domain name query line. Uh, okay, make a screen capture showing the domain queried frame 18. Okay. Using the information in frame 18 identified a related frame, then select that frame in the frame summary page. So uh, we're going to go to frame 18 and see if we can find any other related frame uh, on here. Okay. So let's see. Anything related to frames? Uh, let's see, actually. In the frame details pane, expand the answer line. Okay. Okay, got to find this. Okay, so let's do it like this. Move all of this up right here. And let's do it frame by frame. It's not here in this one.
frame of time, hashtag shutter, okay. Might not be under flags. Okay, see if it's under user data program. Oh, make a screen capture showing the address details. Oh, the address details. I just saw the address details, right? We were in user datagram. Here is the address details. Source frame. See, we're on frame 18. So this is source frame. So this source frame is 61. So this is the related. Okay. Okay, select frame twenty and expand authoritative name servers. Of name servers will be where an Ethernet destination. Okay, I'll do it like this again. Authoritative name server is not an authority for a domain. Authoritative name servers. Bam. There you go. In the frame summary page, select frame 285 and identify the destination MAC address. 285. Identify the destination MAC address. Destination, boom, 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 boom. There's the MAC address.
in the frame detail identify the source port and destination port uh, was it in here was it in frames hmm we know it's in here though doesn't have the port information uh, 285 okay here we go in the frame details pane identify well frame details but the source port right here and the destination port is right here. Expand the radius protocol line. Okay. Make a screen capture showing the attribute value pairs in frame 285. Close the Wireshark application. So we have just uh, used Wireshark, uh, just Wireshark um, for a little bit more in depth uh, investigation um, into network traffic. And the next one is uh, NetWitness Investigator. Um, a little bit more in depth into that as well will be the next video uh so you know hope you guys are enjoying this uh hope you guys are learning something these are anything that you can get on the help desk these are definitely tickets that you can get on the help desk somebody may be asking you these questions what's the source ip address what's the destination ip address what port uh is that that new machine came on which port is closed um and you can just make a job out of uh, analytics um, and gaining information. Uh, so until the next time, uh, I'll be going ahead and analyzing network traffic a little bit more in depth with that witness investigator. All right. Talk to you guys later.